Who knows what time it is? It's Dr. Pepper time. Well, and more Zelda randomizer, but the Dr. Pepper is the important part. I hate these guys. The fact that they're even here, it's kind of garbage. Because they can hit you. And there's not... See? I'm hitting them with the sword. So you know what? Watch us not kill them. Thank God. It's just so, like, jerky how they can, like, be in the water. And you can't kill them from up here at all. There's, aside from, you know, a medallion, there is not one way that you can kill them. Wow, I'm missing two of the dungeon items. I will have to take a look through this dungeon again as I exit. But we have this guy. Who, your whole thing is to pull his eyeballs off with the hookshot and kill them. It's actually fairly generous with hitting him with this thing. <laughs> I got one. Oh, they do go back to him. I was about to speculate on that. I was like, I don't know what happens if they, uh... And now he's just gonna do this. Try to, like, fly around you, whatever. And two hits with the red sword. Down he goes. And now we have the, we're on the second row of hearts. I said at one point there was only 16 hearts in this game. Clearly I was wrong, because there's 20. Um, I was still used to the original Zelda and how there was only 16 hearts in that game. Let's go see if I could find where I'm supposed to... Nothing over there. Not in that way. Alright, so the answer lies in... Ah, here we go. Place that I missed. Can I with that? Nope, of course not. Let's see what's over here. Watch this be the big key. Nope, it's the compass. Wait a minute. Does that mean the big key is in the big chest? Because if so, that would be stupid. I can't go in there now. I went that way, I went this way. I believe, yeah, the big key is in the big chest. Which, I guess, doesn't really affect me in any way. Unless there's, like, an item... A treasure chest that I... Oh, wait, I can go down from here. I never actually did that. I have to imagine that they wouldn't... lack the foresight of keeping big keys out of big chests. So, I don't know what to do here. Um, there we go. There we go. Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna go grab this, and <laughs> I will meet you outside. Alright, we're back. Uh, I made it, instead of just exiting, I went all the way over to here so I can show off this. I'm pretty sure I haven't done this before. Talk to this guy. He wants to give you 30 rupees and 80 seconds, or 80 rupees for 30 seconds, I'm not sure. But he gives you the shovel. And essentially... <laughs> 
What you're looking for is... There's supposed to be a heart piece in here. But if he ever picks any one of these up and holds them over his head, that's exactly how you know... There it is. Oh, it was a heart piece. Yeah, that's pretty much exactly what I wanted out of here. And you can... I'm pretty sure we've made our money back. Plus five. Well, yeah, that's the shovel minigame. Uh, the, so the shovel should still be somewhere in this game, though I think you're supposed to trade that out in your inventory for the uh, ocarina. And I believe, also, to get from Dungeon 2 to Dungeon 3, you're supposed to go... that way? And across the cemetery and whatnot. Because Dungeon 3 is in the woods. And you're not supposed to have the Titans, but you have to get by that, so... I mean, I'm sure there's another walkthrough out there that will tell you how to get to the next dungeon. Um, I'm pretty sure I've cleared this place out. Well, I think... If I recall correctly, there is another little mini-game here. The money-making game. 30 rupees, you open two chests, and... <laughs> we get a mirror shield! <laughs> it's supposed to be a piece of heart, uh, and you're gonna get whatever the... Uh, special item is that is re that re the piece of heart replaced, you're going to get that within... Oh, crap. You're going to get that in the first run, so... That's how you know, like... Well, obviously I got the mirror shield. Is this anything special or is it still the fortune teller? Yeah, it's still the fortune teller. Well, let's go do Dungeon 3, now that I have the best shield in the game. And I am now set with the second best sword. Actually, let's go up there and see if anything's spiffy. I believe I came over here because I found the bow hanging up there, but I'm not sure if I went up here. I'll throw a bunch of you. What is in this lovely household? Oh, it's just... A sh yeah, I've been up here before. It's just a shop. Now, Dungeon 3 is one that I am probably going to stumble around for for a while because of how kind of convoluted it is. And I say convoluted is there is actually several entrances to it. And you can only do certain things in certain entrances. Like this actually hole right here, despite the fact that it looks like a... Or, actually, is that an entrance to the dungeon? No, this is. This should be the front entrance. And you're like, oh man, I see you know, the big chest already, and whatnot. And we go over here, and there's a and the key door. Will you die? Any day now. Thank you. I'll be right back. All right, I apologize for that. We need to do that, so that goes over this way, so we can grab this heart container. Or heart piece, as they say. And I need to go back and reset the route. <laughs> or not. Okay, well, let's find another entrance, because... I can't do anything like that. Let's try this one. Goddamn bee. Oh, okay, so I'm just back here in this one. Nope, fine, do that way. Let's do some explosions. Wow. We're just going here. 
Okay, what does that actually do? <laughs> did I just go clear a path back to the base? I did. Did I clear the path back to a chest that I can't actually get? That's wonderful. Let's go this way again. Anything? Okay. check pots for a key now. Nope, of course not. And he has to be like right there, doesn't he? Okay. Ten second walk by. Of course I got hit twice because invisibility frames. Um hmm. Ha ha ha. Okay, so let's go find another entrance that maybe I can actually do something with. This one. Okay, here we go. There's a mummy that I throw a pot at. Yay, wall masters! Really? That takes four pots? No. Oh, I mean none of that. The thing about those guys is that if they if they catch you, they will basically bring you back to the start, well where you entered at, not necessarily the start. Not that one. Not that one. That one. Anything? Hi. I have a feeling that door is going to go back to the uh, start area, so I'm going to hold off on using my key for that. Try to get these jankwads down so I can... Up. Oh, to the right. Nope. <sighs> How many of these guys could there possibly be? You know what? Fine. I knew it. <laughs> yeah, we're... Okay, that helped me in no way. I can't, I mean, there has to be another way to do with that, because... I have a feeling those guys will just spawn, like, infinitely. What about this area here? off by this thing. Or them. <laughs> Nothing? Alright, let's go over here and try these two. Hey, a heart. Okay, so... How much HP do those guys have? They're just absurd. The sheer amount of, like, damage they take. And there's the big key. Ow. Okay, an actual key, so I can get through this door here. I will cheat you. Alright, so let's get out of a room with Wall Masters. Really? 
Ah, <sighs> this is this is maddening. Anyway, that's it for this episode of Let's Play Zelda Randomizer. Next time we will attempt to find another entrance to get into this crappy dungeon. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all your support and have a good night.